Good morning. Whether you are in business, thinking about getting into business, whether you run a major company, or if it's just you on your own, this is Wake Up to Business TV, your Get the Business Day Started program. This week, we've got two case studies for you. We've got a man who knows all about keeping slim and trim, which happens to be the name of his company. We'll talk to Neville in just a few moments' time. Um, he's achieved an awful lot in the past six months. Um, really getting more people involved in fitness but by offering free sessions so we'll find out how that works from a business model point of view in just a few moments we're also talking to an app developer as well uh, a guy called John who has absolutely changed the way he runs his business in the past few months and he says it's working really really well for him plus we've got some thoughts on how you can get money from your clients now plus we're going to be doing some super mentoring where we mentor each other keep watching all the will be explained about that and we've got a good chat on business pitfalls and solutions as well it's a packed show let's get on with it Good morning, my name is Richard Midson from shoutpow.com. I have a social media company, but I'm also currently working on another project as well, which uh, I really want to tell you about, but uh, we'll have to wait a bit for that. We are in Kingston-upon-Thames in Surrey, where we've been invited by the organisers once again to Kingston Business Biscotti. If you didn't know, this is a really fantastic event in an area which is packed with entrepreneurs and businesses. And it's not surprising why, really. Kingston is perhaps best known for its retail centre, but the area has also one of the highest average income rates in London. So providing you can actually afford to live here, there is plenty of opportunity for businesses to thrive, as you can see by the range of people behind us here today. So if you live in this area or if you're in visiting distance, then why not come along to Kingston Business Biscotti and can find out all the details on the internet. Just to search for Kingston Bis Business Biscotti, if I can actually say it right. Big thanks to everyone also who's been involved in all the test shows so far for this project too. Uh, we're going to be getting ready for the proper launch as well. And I want to thank a whole load of people. And I'm sure I'm going to forget some names here. So Martha Sonnell, Neville, who's this chap here, Sue, John, who we're going to be talking to later, Richard, Steve, Jay, Ruth Ann, Mr. McDonut, yes, Craig, John, and Lloyd. And also special thanks to several other Johns, Radka, Sally, Charlie, and Sue. There have been so many people involved in helping get this project underway so thank you very much to them we plan once we've got all the technical problems sorted out to get doing this properly and get all the social media underway as well attached to this as usual the events organizers have provided us with two fantastic guests we're going to talk to one of them first which is Neville so let's get your week started with a case study and meet my first guest who's been sitting very patiently thank you very much Neville for doing that um, Neville you are uh, well, a fitness guru, I think, is probably oh, thank the, you. the best way of describing you. Um, Neville, t just tell us what your company is first. Okay, my company is it's called Think Slim and Trim, but the company itself is a health and fitness industry. Right. Um, it's based on the principles of a large company called Herbalife International. And what we do is we basically make people aware and educate them on the correct forms of exercise and the correct way to eat to gain the most energy and get to their health goals. I have to say, I, I saw one of your sort of presentations one time whereby you got out all these boxes with the calorie numbers on them and you threw them out and you said, which, which would you like to eat? And obviously I went straight for the chocolate biscuits and then you proceeded to tell us, you know, what was in that and it, oh my God. But, but, you know, obviously you're a slim and trim man. How did you get into this area and why? I got into it because originally I was a, a pretty much stressed out and under-energised police officer ah, with right, very young right. kids. Right. Yeah. I had an avid interest in health and fitness and I thought I was doing well, but looking back on it, sleeping on the train on the way home, yeah. kind of a common thing, uh, shouting at home, stress levels high. It's what I see now in everyday life. Yeah. And it's from that, a chance online internet advert I answered, met up with some people who are all happy, all positive, all the time. Yeah. Uh, I thought, wow, I've got to get And that just sold it to you. Yeah, I've got to get but, into but, that. you know, you're working as a police officer. You've got a, a reliable income, a steady job. There's always going to be crime. There's always going to be police officers. Why did you make that leap? What gave you the confidence? The confidence was what was presented to us in the facts and figures. So uh, there was no opinions based, it was literally facts and figures that the wellness industry is a such a huge market, mm. uh, it's surviving through all the recessions and increasing through all the recessions. Yeah. And I've always wanted to do something for myself, but was too scared to do things that I didn't know about without any help spent lots of money trying different things 
that either weren't my passion or I didn't quite understand how to. But, I, mean, I mean, this sounds like the, the, the you're using a franchise model or is it something... Yeah. It's definitely and, and a franchise yet, you, you model. You know, when I talk to you, you don't seem like the kind of person who's just doing what someone else says. No, no, it's not what someone else says. It's the advice given, but it's a franchise model in the respect of you don't need to think up the ideas. Mm. You don't need to worry about product development or the marketing. How do you do things? Basically, it's the how. Mm. You don't need to worry about the how. And as yeah. we say in the industry, as long as there's a big enough motivation why, yeah. they'll show you the how. Yeah. And so it's a duplication model. You just follow what's been successful, tweak it for your own personality and situation, and don't quit. But, the bottom line. But, but taking that leap, you know, again, as I say, a police officer is a steady job. Yeah, it was. You know, okay, everyone complains about how much they're paid, but it's not too bad a salary. You can, you can definitely live on that. How did you get that confidence to make that leap? Was it really just the facts and figures were sold to you? And, and obviously, um, when well, I started... you fed up with the job as well? I was a little bit fed up with it. Yeah. Yes, I was. If I hadn't come across this, not enough to leave. However, the beauty of the business is that you can do it around a job mm. and see how it feels and how it fits in. And right. What you feel so you were able to lower yourself into... Or yes. Raise yourself raise into, in. into yes. the business Before world and I try it out. Yeah. yeah. Now, in all business development, there's always going to be hurdles. What would you say was the biggest hurdle you had to overcome? What goes on between your ears. Yeah, the interesting. Attitude, point. Yes. All the things yeah. that are not... Mainly not shown to you through the traditional uh, business teaching. Yeah. Yeah. All the practical aspects can be shown, yeah. but if you don't have strength of character, great attitude, being able to deal with challenges, then it doesn't matter what you're shown, yeah. it's going to go. And it was really that which is termed personal development. Yes. That's what helped me grow and grow, and that's part and parcel of what's given to us. So if you, if you have one bit of advice, let, let's say for people that haven't got into business yet, who are trying to do it, they're, they're sort of having a go at it, and they're thinking, I don't think this is going to work, or this is going around their head. What would you say? I would say, forget asking people how to. Ask them, what do you read and what do you listen to that's helped you change your mindset? Hmm. That's way, way more powerful. Um, you know, so what is it that persuaded you in the first place? What is, is that what you're the saying? people I met yeah. Yeah, that were completely get ordinary. back in touch with that. Yeah, it was so ordinary people I saw mm. earning more than me, happier more, better than me, more fit than me. Not walking the streets all day long. No, yeah. freedom of time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yet there was nothing special. I thought, if they can do it, I can do it. Yeah. Right, so, so we found out how you got into business. Just tell us a bit about what you actually do now. How, what is your product then? Because you, you're also telling me that you've been doing free fitness sessions. Now, yes. how does that work in a business model? Giving stuff away free doesn't oh, pay your bills. I know. It's, it's completely turning a business model on the head. Um, most people in fitness will look to increase their, their fees for the exercise activities they're doing. Gym memberships, uh, boot camps, etc. Also, we discovered this model through a, a Herbalife member who ran boot camps. But when she turned it into a free activity, the number of people that came on board doubled overnight. And then it is the attitude again and the skill of the person or people to be able to educate those that come on board on what is needed over and above an exercise. Mm. So yes, people come in for the free fit camp and we give them all the great exercise they need. But how do you then monetize that? Because presumably then there's extra products on top of that that they can use, is that it? Absolutely. The bottom line is we earn our income through the products that are sold to customers, right. but we only ever sell, and this is again something that all businesses should believe in, is you only sell what the customer needs and wants. Yes. Yeah. Not what you think they should. Yeah, it's one of the big lessons I've learned. Yeah. yeah. So through the process of understanding the customers, it's a very personal thing. Yeah. We know what they want, and we can show them the solutions, and then they are free to decide. Right. If people live in Kingston, Montems, or in the surrounding area, how do they get in touch with you, and uh, what can they come along and try then? Okay. They can go straight to the website, which is www free 24 fitcamp 
we'll put it on the screen as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and from there, you'll see my contact number, all the activities we run. We have a wellness centre in the middle of Kingston, and people can just pop up and have a look. And I can tell you, this this man knows his stuff. He has told me quite a few things. So thank you very much for joining us thank for the you. moment, Neville. Um, just a reminder, we are at Kingston Business Biscotti. We've got so many great people behind us today. We're going to be talking to loads of people over the coming weeks and months as well. Don't forget, you can find all the details. Just go online and search for Kingston Business Biscotti, and you'll get all the details when the event is on. It's the first Friday of every month, I think. That's yeah, right, isn't it? That's right. You're one of the ambassadors, actually, for the I event am, as well, yes. aren't you? Yeah, very, very popular event. Now, coming up tomorrow, we're going to be talking to uh, a totally different business. This time, we're going to be talking to John Ballard, who is from Lime Time Apps, and he has completely pivoted his business. Now, what that means is that he's changed fundamentally how he approaches his business. We'll find out more about that tomorrow. In the meantime, though, have a very successful and profitable business day. Over the past few minutes, you've been part of Wake Up to Business TV. Now, carry on the conversation on Twitter at hashtag wake up, the number two, biz, or go to shoutpow.com for links. If you'd like us to come to your event, it's free. Simply send us an email at info at wakeuptobusiness.com and we'll send you details about how you can use the show to promote your event. We hope to see you very soon.